Hello, Horror DNA TV viewers. Welcome to another edition of What's in the Bag Box? Nightworms. Can it be? Can it really be that I have another video so soon? Oh no, God! It's something's wrong. Uh, no, God, please, no, 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 no! Don't expect this, but I am surprised with myself. So let's get on to it. Wait a minute, and away what? we go. Nightworms is a subscription package of books. Uh, forgot the price again. I want to say it's $39.99 plus shipping. I'll put all that stuff down below. Um, always a problem with this. And it's my problem. It's not Nightworms' problem as far as opening. I'm a child. <laughs> There we go. This one has a little bit of heft to it. There's, there's, there's a little bit of weight in there. So let's see what we got. Well, there's two hardbacks it feels like. So I'm gonna go with the smaller one first. Oh, wow. 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 Wow, 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 wow. 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 Okay, so this is Christopher Golden and Tim Lebin's Festival. I'm wowing over this beautiful cover. I'm trying not to... Wow, that is a pretty cover. Um, the Vahilla... The Vahilla Music Festival commemorates a long-ago Viking slaughter. But when strange things start to happen, it seems the massacre may be far from over. When festival goers begin to disappear and musicians find themselves playing mysterious and ancient songs as if possessed, the fans have to figure out what's going on before the festival site's haunting past comes back for blood. Uh, New York Times bestselling horror writers Christopher Golden and Tim Levin create a musical festival to die for in this illustrated novel with artwork by Peter... by... John Cocteau Stone. <laughs> it's a beautiful name. Well, it's Scotch Romania. Peter Bergting. I apologize if I messed up your name, Peter. I do. This is, like, really, really nice. Though. This is awesome. Published by Dark Horse Books. Um, I don't think I've read Christopher Golden yet, even though I need to uh, fix that. But Tim Levin... Tim Levin, everything I've read of his has been a damn delight. So that's a really cool one. That will not be given away because I don't have that one. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Yeah. This is a thick hardback, it feels like. Uh, this one's called Bad Creed by Jessica Johns. I am not familiar with this. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and put that. Bad Creed. It looks like it's a upshot of a forest there. Um, let's see. When Mackenzie wakes up with a crow's head in her hand, she panics. Only moments earlier, she had been fending off masses of birds in a snow-covered forest. In bed, she blinks and the head disappears. Night after night, Mackenzie's dreams return her to a memory from before her sister Sabrina's untimely death. A weekend at the family... A weekend at the family's lakefront campsite... Long obscured by a fog of guilt. But when the walk uh, But when the weekend world starts closing in too, a murder of crows stalks her around the city. She emerges retching water from a nightmare of drowning, and she gets threatening text messages from someone claiming to be Sabrina. Mackenzie knows this is more than she can handle alone. Traveling north to her rural hometown in Alberta, she finds her family still grappling with the same grief and she ran away from the little Oh my god, what the hell is going on? What's happening? Traveling north to her rural hometown in Alberta, she finds her family still grappling with the same grief she ran away to Vancouver to escape. They welcome her back, but their shaky reunion only seems to intensify her dreams and make them more dangerous. What happened that night at the lake, and what did it have to do with Sabrina's death? Only a bad Cree would put their family at risk. But what if whatever has been calling Mackenzie home was within her all along? John's visceral, John would be, uh, John's visceral writing takes us from dreams to a waking nightmare and asks us to find the universal and the personal uncovering shame, doubt, and denial as she tracks a family's attempt to come to grips with loss. 
That is Bad Cree by Jessica Jones. This is, uh, yeah, right on. I'm not, I don't know about the, the, this is a long synopsis, but Nightworms always delivers. Uh, uh, definitely going on my TBR. And I'm wondering if, I wonder if Cree means the Cree Native Americans. Um, published by Doubleday. This is Bad Cree with Jessica Jones. And Festival with Christopher Golden and Tim Levin. And let's get down to the envelope of tchotchkes. Hey. I always love this. It's it's the stocking and the Christmas. I know I know I beat a dead horse with that, but it is. I really like it's just like this extra stuff that I don't need but love. Okay. So I took it all out at once. Not what I usually do, but what are you gonna do? My video, my rules. Who run Barter Town? Who run Barter Town? You know who. We got some Winter Brew. Uh, this is probably coffee. Cooked Crows, purveyors of fine herbs, potions, and aquavitae. I have no idea what that is. Uh, there we go. Uh, got a little magnet for uh, Bibliophile. The spirits say buy more books. You don't have to tell me twice. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got a sticker that says Mood Reader. I am a mood reader. Sometimes uh, I'll take thriller and action, sometimes horror, depending on my mood. Uh, out of Atsland by V. Castro. That I think that's coming out. And if I'm not mistaken, we might have a review for that. I know we have a Castro review coming up. Um, a Haunted Past. That is the motif, the... For this month's Nightworms. There we go. Um, that's bookmark. Obviously. Jessica Johns. God, why do I always forget what these are called? This is a book plate. Jessica Johns book plate and the what's all up in here. Okay, that's it for this. I might do another unboxing tomorrow. Um, well, I got it. But... Tell me what you're reading in the comments. Tell me what you think of the videos. Tell me what you're looking forward to. Just be nice because I'm sensitive. Have a great weekend or day or whenever you're watching this. Just have a good.